Sunday Sports Wrap on WCIA 3 News. It's only October, but there was plenty to play for tonight in the final exhibition for Illinois basketball. First and foremost, number one, Kansas in town. Not often you see top 25 preseason games. And both teams getting together for a good cause. All money raised by the game going to the Maui Strong Fund to help the area recover after devastating wildfires. And of course, former Illini coach Bill Self back for the first time since leaving a high energy affair. Terrence Shannon Jr. starting with the three from the wing and has a few words for former Texas Tech teammate Kevin McCuller Jr. Now Ty Rogers point guard going right at Hunter Dickinson. The sophomore point guard finished with seven points and three of the team's eight assists. Dickinson misses his first four shots much to the enjoyment of the crowd that booed him every time the former Michigan center touched the ball. Coleman Hawkins getting hot back to back threes. This one from the top of the key forces the timeout from self as Jayhawks need to recompose themselves. But here comes Dickinson. His first shot made shot of the game is a three that banks in. Now Illinois on offense. Coleman Hawkins able to hit another three. 7-0 run for Illinois. This forces another timeout Kansas TJ the one feeling it now from the corner once again another triple four in the first alone for him he finishes with a game high 28 points Illinois up seven and a half slower paced second half great ball movement leads to a Marcus Damask 3 11 for the SIU transfer on the night one of the best players in the nation though Illinois uh, before that though Justin Harmon the transfer for Illinois with a nice reverse layup over Dickinson here's one of the best players in the country Dewan Harris Jr with the layup to tie the game up 68 68 Illinois goes five and a half minutes without a field goal but Quincy Garrier another one of those transfers puts up the three hits it to put the Illini back up 11 second half points for him Illinois pulls off the preseason upset 82 75 the final I'm not sure top 25 voters will take into account this game in the next poll, but it's still an unofficial win versus the nation's number one team. Terrence Shannon Jr. wanted to win this one bad. He had a great game with those 28 points. WCIA 3's Brett Barons has more from the State Farm Center on the tone setter for the Illini season. Don't tell Terrence Shannon Jr. it doesn't count. The Illinois senior gave it all he had against the number one team in the country, scoring a game-high 28 points versus Kansas in the Maui Strong Relief game. For Shannon, it sets the standard of what the preseason All-American says needs to happen every game this season. Well, every game we play, we want to win. And it was we don't we don't go into a game saying oh it's just an exhibition and we need to get through it and see where we're at uh, we're trying to win it's been a big focus it's been it's one of the standards that we've tried to set as being that you know our cliche everyday guy the Illini win spoiled Bill Self's homecoming to Champaign the former coach was on the sidelines at State Farm Center for the first time in two decades taking a moment after the game to soak it all in with a look towards the rafters and its Big Ten title banners that still hang it was good Good to walk in, but it wasn't emotional. Not at all. Uh, 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 would it have been 15 years ago? Yes. But there's enough water on the bridge. I've had enough stuff happen and real life episodes and events go on to make it you know, a, a departure from an institution uh, uh, not seem quite as big a deal as what I thought it was in real time. Self wasn't the only one making a return trip to CU. Former Michigan center Hunter Dickinson heard plenty of boos from the Illini crowd every time he touched the ball. Dickinson now 0-5 against Illinois. Hunter, how would you describe your relationship with Illinois fans? Uh, you know, I think it's... Um, I can't give you a good answer right now, I'm sorry. So it's on to games that actually count now for the Illini. Just eight days out, they open the regular season here at State Farm Center against Eastern Illinois. Reporting for your Illini Nation, Brett Barron's WCIA 3 Sports. All right, Brett, thanks. Cannot wait for those games to start counting the regular season getting started November 6th. Eastern Illinois coming to town for the opener for the first or for two years in a row. Tip off in that one is at 7 p.m. Well, basketball season, sure.